What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and we are back once again playing some more EU4 as Austria. On the last episode, we declared war on England after winning, I'm sure, another war. Probably Lithuania or France. We beat up on somebody. Um, but we declared war on England. We're going to go show them what is what. I do think I want to send this fleet out to the New World real quick. Because I would like to take some of England's colonies. And I've got an army over here to deal with these forts down over here. But there is a fort here on Tortuga that we may need to knock down. So, I'm going to send the boats out that way. These armies should honestly be more than enough to take care of all the English troops. And we do have some rebel uprisings that are going to happen fairly soon. But because this is an English war... I think the derps will probably take care of all that for me. So, we're going to go ahead and pause and let it all play out. Got dudes coming in to deal with the Serbs over here. Oh, we had Danish, French, and Croatian all rise up at the same time. Or some of my disparate um, things. Come over to there. Hopefully the dudes... Oh, did my whole transport fleet just get sunk? My whole transport fleet just got sunk. Well, crap. There goes that idea. We do have this army going up through the jungle. Go ahead and put a general in charge. Austrian noble rebels in pests. So they're kind of... People are a little pissed, is what you're trying to tell me. It's probably from all that uh, lowering of autonomy that I did earlier. And my unrest from overextension and war exhaustion. I do need to give the clergy one province. Which we could probably do... Hopefully it's only one province. Anywhere with high autonomy. Yes, but those are good places. Maybe across the channel. That gets them to 15.1, so it's good enough for me. Discoveries spreading. More victories over more rebels. Oh, the English built up a much larger, larger navy, navy than I expected them to. These cores should be finishing up relatively soon. August of this year. Making a fair amount of money as well. you guys can get the boats together, I would like... Oh, you can scroll this down. Are Spain's colonies technically in this war? Yes, they are. What's the biggest and baddest of Spain's colonies? Either La Plata or Brazil? see if we can convince Castilian Brazil to come up there and siege that down. Just go straight to there. Um, I can make claims on the Russians. I should go ahead and do that. And by claims, I mean claim. Who are you allied to? Scotland and Poland. France and Novgorod. Um, let's fabricate. 
get some claims over here as well, I suppose. There you go, derps. Zorowski. It is, but let's go ahead and borrow him for a second. Yeah, we should win that fairly easily. Probably lose a fair amount of men in it, but... There's all that overextension. Well, most of that overextension gone. Still have a few other batches of separatists. They're a bit peeved. Family's feud. Uh, we'll lose 33 dip. That's fine. In all honesty, there's still a lot of people who are mad, is what you're trying to tell me. Concerned about is those forts. Alright, now do you guys see the problem and want to go fix it? Alright, there's that siege down. So after this war, how long is my truce with the Ottomans? Another four years. So there's not at least one more war we could squeeze in there. Denmark might not be the worst choice. They're guaranteed by Russia. Or Sweden, who's only allied to Scotland and Poland. Actually, Sweden's probably the right, right call. Feed a bunch of it to Pomerania. Um, go back up that siege. And we're capped on dip. I know exactly what to do with that. We did embrace the last uh, institution, right? Yes. Paris is the most pla likely place it's going to appear, but it can't appear there because Paris is not connected to our capital and doesn't have a manufactory. Okay. fine on manpower for now. Alright. I could have got annexed by Austrian Colombia. And I am down for Spain to colonize this. I also need to look into having my boy here fight this guy. 
They're on military tech 10. These guys are on military tech 17. So that probably is a winnable fight. Probably. Go out on a limb and say that it is. Alright, that one's down. troops in to fight this. Actually just ooh. what tech level are these guys on? 17. We're on tech 17 as well. I didn't see that extra 35k that's there. Development of iron working, great. I said development in a really strange way. Go down there and deal with those guys. Skill of the Empress, military tech cost minus 10%. I will take it. Six, 8k to show up. Oh, we won. Go cross the straight into Ulster. Not a stack wipe, huh? Another monthly tick just before. They're gonna get another, 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 another monthly tick. Okay, the papal state. I got very concerned there for a second. Now that it's going to be before January 30th, maybe we can get this. We can. Go send your siege general down there. Won the siege of Mexico. to get somebody over here. What is this? This is another trade fleet? Don't know where the heck those guys came from.
Bulgarian separatists are rising up in Celestria, Podlov, and Sofia, which is over here. Claiming things. on dip again. We can take these techs in four years. And I get another um, I get another idea group that's probably going to be offensive, I think, for the extra siege speed. Seems like the smartest thing to do. I may just have to leave their Caribbean islands alone for now if I can't get... Shows up over there anyway. If I can't get uh, some freaking transports going. I'd also like to get a border with Scotland out of this war. Land theft. Yeah, I can't give them either of them influence, so we're gonna favor neither party. You can both hate me. All right, so we get the transports. I build some friggin' transports. being spread. Ooh, that's another thing I need to look at. This is France. This is France. These are both France. Is there a fort here? No. Is there a fort? That's the only island they have. Unconditionally surrender. Alright, I want to get a border with Scotland if I can. So let's do that. And then take a bunch of this. I do have to be careful of overextension here. Because I can't just... Used to there was a uh, way to just... Take, like, in a peace treaty, just take all their... All their, um... Stuff. But I, I guess that doesn't exist anymore. So we just take the whole Yucatan, that puts me at 97% overextension, and we take their money, and their war reps. I suppose that means I got snack wiped. I'm gonna have to core all this myself. I'm gonna have to core five of these. So unless I can find one, I can sneak. Wait, is this overextension? Ooh. This is aggressive expansion. I need to pay attention to things.
that leaves me with like just enough to form my own colonial nation. Is there a better way we can do this up here then? Could we just take like all of Ireland? Problem is that's just like straight 97% war score. I don't think I can afford going over on overextension right now. That puts me at 104. And that's the five that I need. But this gives me a sea border with uh, Scotland, so I could fabricate claims on them and then go around. And I could grab a little bit more down over here. That's 101, that's 102, 102. 99.8. I don't think this is going to get given to Austria and Colombia. One other thing I could see about doing is just taking this. It's much lower overextension. Take this. I definitely want that. If I were to take anything over here, they'd be like, no, those are our forts. But I could take more up here. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Four, five of these. This should be given to these guys. I will need to core St. Helena. That should work. Should, at least. Alright, you go back home. You go back over here. And... The Turks Islands, Barbados, Havana, and uh, Camgoy. One, two, three, four, five? No. I didn't core Caraco, did I? That's not one of the ones. Again, this should be given to these guys. Do we have a uh, rebel uprising right now that I have to deal with? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we have a truce with the Ottomans coming up in 1621. And I would like to do that as soon as it comes up. So maybe just like a smaller war in between here and there. Like Poland? A little, little Polish snack? Or even Sweden? 
Sweden, Poland, and Scotland should not be too hard, to be honest with you. So maybe that's what we do next, but whatever we do, we will do it on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like, hit that like button down below. So well, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Um, I mean, I am doing the right thing, like avoiding over, too high overextension, right? I feel like I am. Uh, but I just want you to validate me. Darn it. Anyways, <laughs> once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.